kids and cadets appreciate you coming back out sorry about the last video i cut it short i'll put a link to that video down below scrapper pulled up behind me um i cut the video off and went to talk to him i'll show you what he ended up uh bringing me he had it he did have a mower on the um truck so let's let's look at what he dropped off and then we'll go back to the two uh units so he had some uh, gas cans. What I do with these is clean them up. And if, if somebody says they're from Akron, Ohio, they just moved here, they don't have a can, I end up throwing a can in the deal. So these were a dollar each. And uh, I end up buying kits. You can replace these um, spouts, but it looks like all these have spouts. Usually it'll just be the... Um, can itself with no spout something like that so i uh clean them out with old gas let them air dry and then i have a, a kit that'll fit these two different size threads on these and it comes with a new spout all that jazz so what i ended up getting is this uh, murray bicycle i gave 10 for that it's the uh, west port you can see it sat in somebody's carport here. The um, thin paint's all been bleached out. It's uh, got some surface rust on the fenders. I'll sand those down and paint them black. You come over to this side and you can see the paint is bleached out on this side too. So you get the real color right there. So then he had this um, craftsman, it had a, a sign on it. He said, the sign said, free needs work. So it's got the um, bail bar, the cable seems to be intact. It's got some rust on the deck. An old craftsman, 917-387500. Let me try lifting this up in the front somebody's put a, a rubber plug here on the tank and tried to oh squ uh, rat damage i should have brought the ratty rats out didn't realize that somebody tried plugging it with a rubber hose because we unloaded it a bunch of gas came out of here and i thought well something's amiss so there's some epoxy here they tried to seal it so I've got some spare tanks. Don't know much about this. I didn't even try starting it. He said he washed the underside. It was caked up with a, a bunch of grass. He gave me a couple of spouts and a couple of recoils. Threw those into the deal. So let me... Um, The engine number's not on the metal tab, so it'll be up here on the recoil. Let me try to, to read the uh, date code on this. It's a, looks like a 2000 model year. Yeah, that's what I can read. It's a, it's a 2000. I'll um, put this down below for you. From what I can see, yeah, ninth month of uh, 2000, so it's a 23-year-old machine. Blades well used. Like I said, it's got the hole in the deck back there. So I, I don't know if this thing's gonna be worth messing with. The um, wheel here is all worn out. Bearings are probably shot. It's kind of cockeyed. It's a, it's a rough $10 unit. Deck's really low to the ground too.
So this doesn't look too bad. This will clean up. I'll spend a little time on the fenders, put inner tubes on it if it needs them. So let me try starting the um, the uh, Murray here, the 2014, and then we're going to put the trap door on it. I got the trap door off a dead machine that I cannibalized. So that ran, started and ran as it should. Let me get my 10 millimeter socket. We're gonna do the uh, trap door. So thanks to all my subscribers. As you know, I've hit uh, 1,000 of you have subscribed. So that's totally awesomeness. I appreciate that. I'm just going to pull the uh, plug wire here. I don't want any accidental startup since my hand is going to be under the deck. This was a quickie quick green Earl Scheib paint job during that rainstorm initially. This is the same bracket that came off of here. Something like that. It, um, it matches the um, secondary bracket. So I'll tilt this back, line up the hole, and uh, go to town on this thing. So sales haven't been great. I've had some people trickle in some uh, side job repairs. Uh, people have asked me, do I fix? And most of the time I turn them away. Um, depending on the, um, the job, if, if I think it's fuel related, I'll, I'll do a carb clean. I just did one for a guy a few streets away. He had contacted me about fixing his So, I got enough stuff of my own to fix, and I don't charge people a, a lot of money. The profit for me is in um, buying them for $10 and reselling them. I can smell gas. I'm, I'm, dripping, I'm dripping fuel on this. Murray slash Bolins. Okay, so the trap door is on. Where was I leaking fuel? Out of the carburetor. So let me um, let me try starting this one more time. See if I flooded it out. Okay, looking good. Let me um, try a little beautification on this. What the hell, I need to get a, a rag. We're gonna pay tribute to uh, Lawrence Carroll again. The beauty juice. Lawrence's name is written all over it. Lawrence, have you got any fan mail? This is um, kind of faded. The green paint's really 
sun bleached. I'm going to try up here on the the plastic and a little bit right here. Okay, that should get me going. How are sales for you guys doing any repairs? Okay, that made a difference right here in the front and on the side. The uh, spill gas from before kind of ate away the, the paint. There's nothing I can do about that. It's, it is what it is. Okay. That, um, that wasn't so bad. You can see that, that shine there and the shade. So I'll probably do 130 to 140. I have a couple of high wheelers listed now. I think I got one at 130, the other's at 140. The uh, 140 is a Bolins like this. It's got a shinier deck and there's no um, Earl Scheib paint job on it. That's why I put it at 140. It may even have a new blade. That was my justification for the 140. So anyway, appreciate you coming out. I'm going to go to town since I moved the carb from the uh, 20 14 over to here. I got to remove this one now and like I said, I'll uh, put a new carb on it. I won't mess around with any more cartridges. I'll uh, remove the bowl on this, drill out the main jet to 0.6 millimeter. You can get micro bits. I get 10 packs of the 0.6 millimeter, and that's what I drill out. I've shown you in other videos, you just put the drill bit in, turn it in by hand, and then back it off. Don't wobble the bit up and down. Just enough where you're taking a, a slight amount of brass out of the pre-drilled jet. Pull it out and then leave it. The more you wobble, you're opening up the... Uh, jet here and it, it lets too much gas into the carburetor it'll dog it out we don't want dogs we want um we want chickens at tommy time i didn't feed him today so i don't know if he's going to do anything for us So I think he's dead. I gotta, I gotta bring out another clucker. I've got a, got two more. I got a three pack. I think this clucker is dead. He's not gonna cluck for us anymore. I've been trying to motivate him. Dinosaurs don't appear to scare him, and neither do snakes. So he's 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 going out to the pasture. Thanks for coming out to Tommy time. Please tip your waitress and wait staff. I appreciate all of you that have subscribed. If you have not, please do so. I'd really appreciate it. Thumbs up. Leave comments below. I like to hear from you guys. See what's shaking, what's baking. Keep up the good work. Have a good day today.
it, don't forget, you guys go out, you tip them waitresses. They're, they're really hustling. Have a good day.